Last time I was in this town Was the last time that I saw you Until I turned down your street today I'd forgotten all about you Maybe, baby, it's just as well As well as it can be Cause you've got your life, I've got mine I guess we're kind of free But trouble's on its way Trouble's on its way It's on its way to find you Yeah, trouble's on its way Trouble's on its way It's on its way to find you And I was just about to say How good it is to see you But I was thinking to myself I wouldn't want to be you You know what you can expect No reason to deceive you You say everything's all right I wish I could believe you But trouble's on its way and Trouble's on its way It's on its way to find you Yeah, trouble's on its way Trouble's on its way It's on its way to find you Just when things are going well You decide you need a change Nothing good ever last Now I must rearrange But baby, sometimes I just get tired I've done all I can do I just want to go to sleep at night Not wake up to something new But trouble's on its way Trouble's on its way It's 
on its way to find you Yeah, trouble's on its way Trouble's on its way It's on its way to find you You could save the world tonight If that was your ambition Maybe you could just save me You can make that your mission If I ask you one more time Would it make a difference? Just say anything at all I can't take your indifference But trouble's on its way Trouble's on its way It's on its way to find you Yeah, trouble's on its way Trouble's on its way It's on its way to find you Yeah, trouble's on its way Trouble's on its way It's on its way to find you Yeah, trouble's on its way Trouble's on its way It's on its way to find you Thank you. You're listening to Wef Sessions with special guest John McMahon on WEFT 90.1 FM Champagne. And before we go on, I want to hear more about how I can save the world tonight. That sounds great. Well, it wasn't really, you know, directed at you specifically. Oh. But well, I'm sure there's a way you could do it. I, if you I, I make will that, make it my ambition if yes. you uh, meet me halfway and tell me how. All right. If you fall short on that, just save me instead. Oh, well, again, tell me how, and I'll do my best. So okay. uh, can I save you with interview questions? Sure, go for All it. All right. How you been since last time? Fine. Very I, good. Very good. Th there's this sort of artifice. I, I ran into John, what, a month ago on the sidewalk? And uh, so last time could either be a month ago when I saw him uh, over by Radio Maria, or it could be the last time you were on the air. So... Uh, Last time is whatever you want it to be. <laughs> yeah, and it was actually you running into me that day that uh, sort of led to this because you commented that day you thought I was already scheduled, and I wasn't. Well, very but, often when people have uh, record releases, yeah. they they come, I don't want to say in clumps, but they, uh, you know, accessorize. Well, anyhow, you reminded me, oh, yeah, I probably should schedule a web session because I do have this new album. So I'm glad to it know was some good of that the, I ran into you. I'm, I'm glad some of the work I started that day uh, panned out. Oh, yeah, it did. It was a Friday, right? It was, yes. You've got a good memory. Uh, well, I thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I guess it's better just to accept the compliment than, uh, you know, argue the point. It's the whole humility thing. Um, you know what? Just. Like a couple days ago, mm -hmm. or recently, anyhow, I was organizing stuff, and I came across the CD from a West session with Hi Ho Buffalo, oh, which wow. was three or four years ago. That long? Um, I think so. Man. So I, lis I listened to it. I hadn't heard it in a while. Mm -hmm. and 
Um, you were in rare form that night, Todd, i got to say. Well, I, I think I appreciate that. I, th- I thought I was on an acid trip listening <laughs> to that. Were we talking about superheroes or something? I'm not sure what you were talking oh, about. Oh, okay. It was, it was too strange. I'll, I started to say I'll have to listen back, but maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe I would uh, remember it differently. It was entertaining. Oh, I'm glad it was entertaining. That's, uh, you know, losing them through boredom is, is worse. Than yeah, right, right. As long as... As, as long as uh, it doesn't cross the line into obscenity or something. You know? No, no. It was clean, just weird. <laughs> that, that's pretty much a way to describe the show every week, I think. Clean and weird. So, um, what should people know about this new album of yours? Like, where can they get it? What's it called? It's called Black and Red. Um, it's at Exile on Main Street, or it probably still is, unless they're sold out, which I suppose is possible. Good problem to have. Um I mean, I have copies, so you can track me down. I'm not that hard to find, and I I will get one to you. And it's on iTunes. It's on all the usual places to get new stuff online. Black and red or black and obscenity? The word and. Oh, that's right. Testing. Okay, I hear myself. It's like I lost it. I see it. It's like good that Twilight Zone where the girl is under her bed and nobody can see her. Good thing you got a good sound man here. Yes, yes. Uh, so, what do you have for us next? Um, I assume actually, you have another song. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm going to do a... Um, this is a new song. It's actually newer than that Black and Red Ooh. album. A friend of mine works at the local uh, medical marijuana dispensary, and okay. so... She was the inspiration for this song. So the song is called Weed. Ah. I've been working so hard doling out the weed. If you got the cash, I got all that you need. Don't be afraid, it's not really against the law I looked it up in the Constitution There's nothing in there about weed after all And in knew she had to make a stand Bringing into this darkness on the land She did as much as one poor girl can do She loved her friends, she loved her men She loves her kids, she loves her grandkids too been thinking of making a brand new start I'll tell you what I've been feeling in my heart I don't expect it to mean that much to you You got those things you're working on All we can do is carry on somehow Carry on somehow Carry on somehow
Thank you. You're listening to John McMahon on Web Sessions, and uh, my mic doesn't seem to be doing anything this time. But I lost it again. <laughs> I didn't touch it that time. Uh, yes, it does appear to. So I was just repeating that uh, our guest tonight is uh, John McMahon, and this is Web Sessions, and we talked about your album. What about uh, how do people book you? Is there, and again, I know the answers to some of these questions, but just because I know them doesn't put them out there. Web presence? Um, nothing other than Facebook at this point. No email? Well, yeah, I have email. I mean, you could email me at J McMahon, J M C M A H O N 1000 at gmail.com. You could call my office if you were so inclined. Um, or find me. I'm around downtown. You might just bump into me someplace. Sounds very believable. How many times would you estimate we've bumped into each other? <laughs> oh, very many. Right. A lot. So, is there any significance to the thousand? I've always wondered that. Just because low numbers were taken, and so I just jumped up to a thousand. I figured surely that's got to be safe, and it was. And uh, you mentioned having an office. Uh, you do more than music. I do have a day job, but actually, now that you bring that up, only for three and a half more months. Oh I'm, my! I'm retiring. Well, that's and just it, not from music, though. Pardon? Not from music, though. No, to music. Okay. For, from law to music. That's how to do it. So, yes, that's the way to do it. Because this is where the big money is. Right, right. You this. give up uh, charity work such as law for something that uh, right. is lucrative. Right. Well, I assure you if uh, everybody were quitting music to do law, the show would get very boring. So It would. <laughs> it really <laughs> would. I never thought of just having a lawyer on every week. That, that Wef probably couldn't afford that. Yeah, I, I don't think you need to think about it that much more, really. I won't. <laughs> I don't even remember what we were talking about. Um, would you want to do two in a row? Let's do two in a row. I like it. All right. This is Wef Champagne. All right. Uh, here's a song called I Want You So Bad. Yeah, yeah, you got 
something on your mind Yeah, yeah You got something on your mind I'll slow it down with a song called Back in Champagne, which is also from the Black and Red CD. Champagne After a trip I took down south Shouldn't complain Sometimes I feel left out I can't explain This darkness over me I open my eyes But it seems I still don't see shouldn't be this way it's lasted for too long i pick up my guitar and play till the feelings are all gone sand away from all this snow when you see me next boy we'll have us a good time so goodbye for now Thank you. I swear our clocks here are 10 minutes apart. That says, well, never mind. 
Okay, yeah, that said 1027 like 10 minutes ago, so I was going to say, how are we this far through the show? But we weren't. Now we are. So how's it going, Todd? Oh, you know, about the same as last time we talked. Uh, we talked about how to book you. We talked about retirement. We talked about or leveling up because mm-hmm. you're not retiring from public life. You're just uh, prioritizing. Yes, right. So uh, do you have anybody out there listening that you want to recognize uh, at the half? Because we're at the half. Well, I'll say hi to my wife. Um, that's enough. Okay. You know, because I don't want to, you know, if I get started, I'll forget people. It'll just be terrible. Well, it's a good reminder for so me. Cause I'll just stop there. You say hi to Christine. I say hi to Christine because I have my own Christine. So. Yeah. Well, I'll say hi to your Christine as well. Well, then I'll say hi to yours. Okay, perfect. We'll leave it at that. And uh, let's see. Um, upcoming shows and recent shows because I've been reading... You're good about emailing people, and uh, the the times are not always ideal for me. But uh, I hope they've been ideal for you. How how have they gone? Oh, yeah, um, fine. This well, actually, last week was a strange thing. I won't mention the name of any particular establishment, but okay, an establishment I should have been playing at. I get there and. <laughs> they had lost their liquor license for the day. Oh. So the, the show was abruptly not happening. So that mm. wasn't so great. Is this the one right near me? Uh, not right near you. No. Okay. No. Because I, several of them have, you, didn't you play a, it, a it, lunch hour? It's not that there was anything shady about the place or anything oh, no. like that. They just screwed up in getting their application sure. in. Didn't you do some sort of uh, journalistic show recently? Like a lunch hour? Oh, well, it, in the lobby of the News Gazette. Right. You know. I figured they didn't get their liquor license canceled, so we can talk about <laughs> yeah, that. Right. Yeah, that was actually fun. I um, um, went over there and did a song with a flautist. We did Whiter Shade of Pale with oh. the flute covering what would have been the organ part. And it, nice. It, yeah, it was pretty fun, actually. Any other recent shows to uh, highlight? Uh, pff, nothing that... Like just really jumps into my head right now, but there are okay. a bunch coming up. Yeah, because um, well, next weekend is the Boneyard Arts Festival, right. so that like stuck a bunch of weird ones into my schedule that wouldn't ordinarily be there. So Thursday night at Hammerhead Coffee, mm-hmm. which I just uh, went to for the first time. Yeah, with Christine. <laughs> ah, your Christine, I hope. I yeah. I think I would have noticed if if they had both been there. So anyhow, that's part of the Boneyard Arts Festival. Um, Friday night at the Tin Roof Bar in Ur- Urbana. Never heard of that. Is it uh, new? Eh, no, not really. It's it's on Cunningham, just north of the Walgreens there at the University. Okay. Right next to the dirty bookstore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyhow, so that's Friday night. Um, Saturday morning at the... Uh, Habitat for Humanity Restore on University. Again, Boneyard Arts Festival. And then Saturday afternoon for the Boneyard Arts Festival at Heel to Toe in Urbana. Okay. Later in the month, Riggs Beer Company. And later in the month, um, for the marathon. You see, that was kind of where I was expecting this to go. Yeah. Because you ran it one year, right? uh, 2012, I did. It's easier to just play guitar for it than to run it. I have learned. I just realized why that was fresh in my mind. Somebody said uh, they liked your article in the paper, so I tried to look it up, and I just found every reference. I I didn't ever find the article. I just found where you'd been mentioned in the paper. So I'm not sure what article you recently ran, because the search didn't show me that. It just showed me what you were doing and, you know to promote dump truck of love oh <laughs> yeah i don't know but it, but anyhow so that's the stuff coming up in the near future I okay suppose. well that's i was gonna say it doesn't sound like retirement is going to uh slow you down at all it sounds like you wouldn't have time to do any more than you're already doing not having the day job will make it easier to do the night job oh it but, is going to be more at night then well i mean it's just whenever music gets played it you know, sometimes they're in the daytime, too, I guess. But. That, that's where I feel bad. It's like, oh, a show, and that's right when I will be asleep. But Yeah. Because I'm on, you know, I'm here at night. <laughs> well, Mondays, anyway. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I, anytime somebody plays a show on a 
Monday morning. It's like, well, I can either quit my job and go, or I can, or I could just pull a three, you know, stay up for three days. Right. Yeah, Monday morning would be kind of a niche show, I guess. <laughs> but. Retirees, maybe. Shall we do another song? Please, please, thank you. All right. Um, all right, this is another song that's also on that Black and Red album. I feel but free actually, to do two in a row again. Okay, we'll do two in a row. This one has actually been played here before, but I'm going to do it again because it's kind of a fun song. It's called okay. The Tale of Patrick. It's a true story, or it's sort of a true story. Patrick was a good man, he was soon to be married to a good Christian woman who loved him with all of her heart, but that was before everything changed. This is the story from the start. Bogota, Colombia's a risky place For a young man still trying to understand His heart and his mind, that's where he went That fateful summer Looking for one last break From the world he left behind He was smoking and drinking at a little cantina when his eyes fell upon a beauty like he'd never seen before. Maybe it was fate Maybe a disaster, but he knew he had to meet the senior Rita naked on the stage. He said hello, but she didn't speak English. But it seemed she got the message when she reached and touched him from inside her cage. Go, Patrick, nothing will ever be the same. Go, Patrick, no one will forget your name. Night after night, he went back to see her he smoked another cigarette let the whiskey put him in a haze he thought about his life back in England that life was over a decision had been made He loved his senorita, maybe she even loved him, but it didn't really matter. Only one thing left to do. He called his Christian woman, 
and he explained his situation. He waited an eternity for the silence on the line. Poor Patrick, what's a young man to do? Don't you know you broke that young girl's heart? Poor Patrick, everyone is mad at you. She cried and cried the day you tore her world apart. Too late for forgiveness. Too late to reconsider Too much alcohol, maybe But so it goes That's the tale of Patrick Amazing, but it's true What a beautiful woman Can make a young man do Oh, Patrick, nothing will ever be the same. Poor oh, Patrick, no one will forget your name. Poor oh, Patrick, Nothing will ever be the same. Poor Patrick, no one but yourself to blame. Thank you. Um, this next song is called We've Got Each Other. When you doubt what you believe in And you start to lose your faith When you're running out of options And it's more than you can take We've got each other We'll carry on each other we can be strong
Nothing has been easy It's gone from bad to worse It's just the times we're living in That's our only curse We've got each other We will be saved We got each other we'll be okay We've got each other We'll carry on We've got each other We can be strong We've got each other We will be saved We got each other we'll be okay I was talking earlier, I forget if I said it on air or off air, but I was saying it was a good night to curl up next to the radio and except that then you'd be doing the show without me. Yes, except for that. Well, I think what people in other parts of the country may not realize is uh, yesterday it snowed pretty much all day here. And uh, on top of that, I'm used to you. I've gotten used to you being here with l loud bandmates. So it's like... It was parka weather. It was very wet snow. Uh, yeah. And so it feels like a second wave of winter, and uh, it's dark, and I don't know. I sort of feel like quieter solo artist shows are, I don't know if soporific is quite the right word, but uh, it, it's just very easy to get almost a little too relaxed. So I thought you were going to say sophomoric. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I, uh, I would never. We've, we've had some more sophomoric shows, but uh, I, that is not a word that comes to mind. Doesn't it mean wise fool? Mean what? I'm I think sorry. it's Greek for wise fool. Um, that's probably right. I don't know. Um, Greek to me. But, you know. uh, well, to everybody. So, uh, you know, in Spanish, they, they say it's Chinese to me. <laughs> Do it, it doesn't translate quite it, you know, it's idiomatic. So. Wow, I've learned something new. I, well, I say that. Where I was in Spain, anyway. Okay. So I haven't been there in a very, very long time. Mostly because nobody's paying for me to go. 
Well, I will never ask you, have you ever been to Spain? Because now you've told me that you have been. To be honest, I just kind of like the music. Have you been to Oklahoma? Uh, what does it matter? Ladies are insane there, I hear. But I, I'm thinking probably ooh, one out of every eight people listening got that, and the rest just thinks what you said about an acid trip. Yes. And you already had your dispensary song, so uh, we're just digging deeper and deeper. Uh, uh, we are, we are. Do you digging. have two more? Um, I guess so, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to do one cover only because whoa excuse me um there's a band that has been around since the 90s but i've only kind of gotten turned on to them over the last year and a half or so Mm -hmm. and i really like them you probably know about them the dandy warhols oh i like them um so i don't i don't know that i would you know want them as extended family because i have not met them but i really like some of their records yeah. So I do too. So I want to do one Dandy Warhol's uh-huh. cover, and then I guess I would leave time for another short. We won't cut song. you off. Now, um, this is going to sound exactly like the original, right? I won't even realize it's a cover. Well, I don't know about that, but it will sound at least reasonably close because I think the original version, they do do it acoustically. So. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see which one it is, or here, rather. All right. This song is called You Are Killing Me. You are killing me And everything you love about me You're making it harder and harder and harder on me And you ain't telling me Telling me much that you love me Anymore Before I leap and I drag you in with me And you just can't seem to take it anymore And so you're killing me Just don't fly here anymore So you're making news and changes You should have made before You started killing me And you are killing me Killing me and everything you love about me. You're making it harder and harder and harder on me. You ain't telling me, telling me much that you love me anymore. Before I leap, then I drag you in with me, and we just can't seem to take it anymore. What I knew used to be just don't fly here anymore, so you're making news and changes. You should have made before you started killing me. And you are killing me. But I know what I'll end 
and I don't I know what Oh, and man, I don't And that's why you're killing me This next song's called. Oh yeah, sure. If this is the last one, I just want to tell people to stay tuned because, uh, as counterintuitive as it sounds, there are people who tell me if they don't know for sure they're listening to the right announcer on the right station, they uh, they start changing the dial around. That's, That's terrible. That, you know, my whole thing with all these stations was I would listen to them until I realized I'd heard everything I was going to hear. But all the research shows that if people don't recognize a song, they get scared. They get confused. So they, you know, my, my show, they probably leave after one song because they, they don't know any of them. But um, anyway, just wanted to go ahead and uh, remind people who you are. Branding, name recognition, you know, because uh, I can give a band name a hundred times and then somebody asks what it is right after that. So this is Ben Weff Sessions with John McMahon, who is, uh, if you like him, you can go see him a lot. In the near future, yes. Although I will complain, you know, the cover is really cost prohibitive at a lot of these restaurant shows you're doing. It's terrible, but, you know, save up, save up, and you can probably make it. No, if, if you like John's music, there are so many uh, accessible, all ages, budget friendly. I mean, if, if you're in Champaign Urbana and you haven't seen this guy, then uh, yeah. you just are a shut in. Thursday night, you can drink some coffee for free. Well, I mean, you can get in for free and then drink coffee at <laughs> Hammerhead. Uh, Their business model would be shot if all the coffee were free. Yeah, right. Friday night, no cover again at Tin Roof, and you can drink beer there. So, I, I, uh, you know, there's always talk of, of bands calling themselves like two dollar Long Islands or no cover, or but you know, I don't think they get booked when they do that. There is a band called Free Beer. Okay. Well, I'd be curious to know how that's worked out for them. Yeah, I don't know. There's that old, of course, uh, Warner Brothers cartoon where, uh, actually, they've, you know, the one, they've censored it. Um, they, they, it's the singing frog one. And uh, so he has the singing frog and nobody comes in. And then he says free admission and nobody comes in. And then he says free beer and people finally come in. Well, they've cut it where it just says free admission and people rush in. And it doesn't really make any sense because... I don't know. Censoring yeah. those things to me is uh, kind of silly because they don't make sense afterward. That doesn't make much They're sense. They're just leaving out plot points. What were they censoring anyhow? I don't know. The, the alcohol reference. Oh. Oh. Because, you know, if children hear about beer, then they will get hooked. Oh, I guess. I guess, I suppose more children than adults listen to talking frogs, I guess. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah. and, and, the, and the best part was uh, Ted Turner censored them. They were on Nickelodeon and they were on. Uh, TBS, I think, and one network censored them for violence, and one network censored them for alcohol. So if you combined them, you could see the whole thing. Yeah. But, yeah, it was weird. Covering so their bases. I yeah. would say please stay tuned for John McMahon's uh, final song of the hour, and then another hour of local music. And uh, thanks for listening, and I hope you can stick around at least long enough to get your CD. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Todd. All right. This last song is called Cast a Stone. to the ocean Throw another at the sky One is lost and gone forever The other falls to earth nearby And I guess it doesn't matter When you've got a lot of stones 
But before you throw the last one Just be sure you're not alone And I know It doesn't work that way Yes, I know It's never worked that way But it can work out if you let it There aren't any rules It can work out if you let it Don't be a fool That's the only way to be Drop our stones and live together In a house down by the sea And I know It can't work that way Yes, I know It can work that way It can work out if you let it There aren't any rules It can work out if you let it Don't be a fool